So finally, we've got a bit of news for Battlefield 5. The fall update goes live tomorrow, November 17th, and essentially it's going to have two small tweaks to what we're already used to in Battlefield 5. Essentially, we're getting the updated community games features that were supposed to be coming earlier this year, but of course they were delayed. And then we're seeing the return of War in the Pacific, that game mode or rotation that everyone really enjoyed. I'm looking forward to it, I suppose, because of the options we'll get with community games. That's something everyone's really wanted since Battlefield 5 actually released. But apart from that, there's not a whole lot changing with BF5. We'll also be seeing two new elites coming to the game, Jonathan McNeil and Siegfried Albrecht. Both will be automatically unlocked for owners of the Battlefield 5 Definitive Edition released last month and otherwise available to unlock in the armory using company coin. I think they should be really available for those that pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition because we still haven't had anything for purchasing that Deluxe Edition, but there we go. It doesn't really matter. And then I suppose we can go through the community games features as there'll be a few people on here or watching this video that are really interested to see what gets added. Here's a breakdown of the new settings that you can now apply to further customize your community games experience. First of all, you can adjust the bullet damage in the game from 50% all the way up to 200%. You can also adjust the ticket count, adjust soldier respawn time, adjust vehicle respawn time, and adjust round time. These options sit alongside and offer additional tweaks over the original features, which include creating and naming several game configurations, creating and joining a community game, choosing the mode, the map, the number of players, how many rounds the server should play, a password, kicking players, and banning players as well. In addition to that, DICE have also added two new functions for community games to help you show and share what your server is all about. This means that you can set a custom name and a custom description. You could possibly go for something like Panzerstorm 24-7, 500% game length, hardcore experience, if that's something that you wanted to do. DICE have also worked to incorporate deeper levels of customization to give you more control over the available options for players and the type of kits, weapons, gadgets and vehicles that they'll access to when they're spawning into the server. This means you can turn certain classes on or off. Assault Medic, Scout Recon, you could just have all scouts if that's what you wanted. You could also turn off the Assault and Medic when you're playing on certain maps if that's what you want, or go Medic only. You can also turn certain weapons on or off meaning you can ban shotguns, or maybe you could potentially remove MMGs or sniper rifles if that's what you want. Gadgets can also be turned on or off, which is very interesting. This means you can turn off self-heal, healing supply, ammo supply, any of the anti-vehicle launchers or even reinforcements. Vehicles can also be turned on or off. Finally, we can play VL652 without any air vehicles. Extending beyond these options, DICE have also provided unique toggles that will enable you to change the experience further and push for those more hardcore settings, especially if you want to go for that really hardcore experience. You can turn off aim assist, auto rotation, aim assist slowdown, the compass, friendly fire can be changed, the kill cam, the minimap, all that stuff, even the vehicle third person camera, all that stuff can be changed, which is really, really good for that ultimate hardcore experience that many people wanted from Battlefield 5. There's a whole host of other fixes and little tweaks to the game that will improve quality of life. For example, they fixed a problem with the T-34, fixed the recoil for the 12G Automatic and Model 37. Just a few little tweaks that will definitely make a positive difference on the battlefield. Overall, I'd say that this is a fantastic update, and I'm really glad that we're finally getting this in Battlefield 5. Sure, it's coming too late, and many people have already left BF5 and won't be playing the game, but for those that are still there, those communities that enjoy a World War II game, this is great for them. I think it's a lesson, really. DICE are capable of bringing us these updates, but it's just way too late. Two years down the line, this needed to be with the launch of the game, 100%, and everyone agrees with that, I'm pretty certain. It's just good that we're getting it at all. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Are you going to be playing a bit more BF5? Are you going to be hosting some really cool events with some custom settings? I certainly will look at doing a few. Maybe we can have a real life hardcore mode or some fun game modes. I'll have a look and see what I can come up with. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.